Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How are you doing? Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Uh, today is oh wow. Let me check. What's what's the date of today? Today should be June twenty third. Oh wow. Today is June twenty third. June twenty third. June twenty third. Yes. Today is June twenty third. Welcome to One Scholarship a Day. Hello, everybody. Um. This is actually done here on Clubhouse as well as on uh, Instagram Live. So if you check like Instagram Live, if you go to my Instagram, you can actually see me while I'm talking here on Clubhouse as well as on Instagram Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome you guys. Hello Ali, hello Bolaji. I see you have your party hat on, which means that you're new to Clubhouse. Welcome to Clubhouse. I hope you're having a good time here. Um, Yes, welcome you guys. Let me start with probably like a little self introduction. So hello everybody. Good morning, my name is Sylvie and I am the founder of LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com. LearnHowToGetAScholarship.com is a website where we curate scholarships for international students. We also prepare international students to apply for scholarships in different parts of the world. And we do that through group classes, one-on-one -on -one classes, as well as standalone services. So for the standalone services, if you need help, let's say only with your research proposal, we are going to work with you to get your research proposal ready. If you need help with your personal statement, we are going to work with you to get it ready because those are part of the documents that most scholarships always ask for. Hello, Rohith. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on One Scholarship a Day. Alrighty, I also have a YouTube channel, you guys, and on YouTube, I still also create, uh, I curate scholarships for international students. I have like interviews there and other things, strategies on how to get scholarships and all of that good stuff there. So if you tap my bio here on Clubhouse and go to Instagram, you're going to see the link to my most recent uh, video. And my avatar here on Clubhouse is actually the title, is a thumbnail nail of the video top five fully funded scholarships for international students that you can apply to in 2021 i am a great advocate for fully funded scholarships it was through fully funded scholarships that i was able to do my master's and phd for free so i advocate for fully funded scholarships i tell students when you get a fully funded scholarship, all you really have to do is just show up with your passport and that is it. The scholarship provider takes care of everything. So I definitely, definitely encourage you all, please go to my YouTube channel, tap my face here on Clubhouse, go to my Instagram and on Instagram, you're going to see the link to my YouTube channel. Of course, it will show you the most recent videos, but you can watch so many other videos there on YouTube. And the thing is, I have a series there called the Top 10 Series. This is a compilation of top 10 fully funded scholarships for international students that I started compiling when, like a while ago, I have about 15 videos in the top 10 fully funded scholarships category. So if you go there, sit down, watch the videos, take notes, make memos and start sorting which of the fully funded scholarships are you going to be applying for Alrighty, hello Masip on instagram welcome thank you for joining us on one scholarship a day oh hello doctor thank you for joining us on one scholarship a day so yes go ahead check it out uh make notes make sure that if you watch the videos by by, by start to the end you're going to have at least about far, uh, 25 fully funded scholarships that you can start preparing to apply for. Either this year, if the deadlines have passed, that is okay. You can start preparing to apply for them next year. So yes, you guys, this conversation is brought to you by the Study Abroad Club here on Clubhouse. So I'm definitely going to call on you all. Tap the little house above my head. This is for those that are on Clubhouse, you guys. So for those on Instagram, this does not concern you all. So uh, those on Clubhouse, tap the little house above my head. Go and follow the club. I'm going to invite you all to be members of the club. And there you're going to get lots of information about scholarships. Hello, Leah. Welcome. 
each time I come here and I talk about scholarships, I always say, get a pen, get a paper, make notes. But on one scholarship a day, you do not have to make notes, you guys. That is because I'm going to share the link to the scholarship in my Twitter. I'm going to, on my Twitter, what in my Twitter? On my Twitter. So please, 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 those on Clubhouse, tap my face, go to my Twitter account, follow me there. I'm going to share the scholarship of our one scholarship for today. I'm going to share it there on Twitter. So definitely go ahead and follow me on Twitter such that you can get the link to the scholarship. I'm also going to share the official page of the scholarship in my Instagram stories because sometimes I've realized that some people reach out to me like, oh, we did not actually find the official link to the scholarship or oh, we are not sure if this is the page that you are talking about so i do well to share the official page of the scholarship in my instagram story so go ahead and follow me on instagram check my story such that you are sure that we are on the same page in terms of the scholarship that we are talking about Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Now that we finished doing all the house cleaning stuff, the things that are important, let us get to the, our one scholarship for today. Hello, Ben. Welcome. Thank you for joining us on one scholarship a day. Alrighty, our scholarship for June 23rd, our scholarship for June 23rd is the International Scholarship Program 2021 at Geneva Center of Humanitarian Studies in Switzerland. The International Scholarship Program 2021 at Geneva Center of Humanitarian Studies, Switzerland. This is very interesting to me because I started doing a one scholarship a day on the what on the 19th of May. And I've been doing this all weekdays right up till today. And we never had a scholarship to Switzerland. We never had a scholarship to Switzerland. So this is very interesting. This is very interesting that uh, there is a scholarship to Switzerland. It's called the International Scholarship Program at Geneva Center of Humanitarian Studies. The deadline to apply for this scholarship is November 30th, 2021. So you still have time if you're going to apply for it. You still have a lot of time. This is November. Like you can definitely take some time to put together your documents and apply for it. The disciplines that this scholarship covers is the humanities. So this is for students that are offering something related to the humanities. You need to be studying something related to the humanities to apply for this scholarship. And it is at the mass level you guys it's at a master's level so you need to have had your bachelor's and then uh preparing to go do your master's that you can apply for this particular scholarship Alrighty, let us read some more because that is what we do on one scholarship a day we do a deep dive into the scholarship so let's see and for everybody here on clubhouse and on on, on instagram i'm going to share the link to the scholarship on twitter so don't bother just listen uh and then you can go read details about the scholarship later the main thing is just follow me on instagram on twitter because that is where you're going to see the link to the scholarship and i'm also going to share the official page to the scholarship in my instagram stories all right it says that our scholarship program pro remove removes barriers so that humanitarian professionals for middle and low income countries can benefit from our training thanks to our scholarships thanks to our scholarships we have a very diverse mix of students in the classroom to make sure their experience reflects the diversity of their working environment such diversity creates and creates a great opportunity to hone negotiation and listening skills both to successful projects and project management each year thanks to the financial support of the service de la sécurité solidarité internationale of the canton of geneva we offer full or partial scholarships for two of our courses wow so they have a full scholarship you guys as well as they have a partial scholarship a full scholarship i'm always hyped about full scholarships because guess what when you get a full scholarship all you have to do is just show up with your passport and you're ready to go this is why it's so good. Alrighty, so there are two programs. You have the Executive Master, Masters of Advanced Studies. 
in humanitarian action and then you have the executive diploma of advanced studies in humanitarian action so those are like the two programs that they cover and then it says we have three categories of scholarship holders one those with a full scholarship to cover the four month living expenses in geneva plus tuition fees two those with a scholarship to cover their four month living expenses in geneva they don't cover the tuition fee so that is the partially funded ones and then three those with a scholarship to cover their tuition fees for the for uh, for DAS, it says for residential months in Geneva from September to December 2021, but no coverage of living expenses. So you see that they have like full scholarships as well as they have partially funded scholarships. And then it says, please be aware that all MAS and DAS scholarship holders have to contribute to the tuition fees with a minimum payment of 1000 CHF. What is the currency that they use in Switzerland? Oh my goodness, just the fact that I do not know that, I should be ashamed of myself. I should be ashamed of myself. What is the currency used in Switzerland? I don't know. Is it the euro? Is it the euro? I don't know. I don't know. I really, really don't know. I need to check because it says, no, of course it's not the euro. What is 1000 CH, CHF that you have to pay towards your tuition? I have no idea, you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, it says who can apply our scholarships are open only to students who come from and work in one of the least developed or low income and lower income countries according to the dac list of oda recipients so this is for those from least developed countries low low income countries and lower income countries that's like a, a a list a good list if you are looking at students from least developed countries students from low income countries and students from uh lower income countries so this covers like students from like mid uh lower income countries if we were to put together a list that would be like a long list of students so if you come from any of these countries one of the least developed countries low developed countries lower income countries and uh lower income uh income countries and middle lower middle income countries this is definitely a scholarship for you if you're considering switzerland as a study destination Alrighty, hello hagen welcome hello uh do du your Dior, welcome inspiring decisions welcome thank you all for joining us on one scholarship a day let's see the application process it says that do you want to apply for a scholarship remember to check the registration deadlines for each course oh wow so each course has its own deadline and the application requirements candidates can apply for a scholarship by filling in an online application form so you can apply online please remember to tick the but the button i would like to apply for a scholarship which means that this is definitely one thing that is written in the scholar in the application form the box that says i would like to apply for scholarships that you will find inside the application form of the program that you have selected and fill in all the financial information required all scholarships are allocated and administered by the center we expect all students to contribute towards the cost of their education the scholarship selection committee takes into account individuals financial contribution we therefore strongly advise candidates to look for other financial support options Alrighty, that is what is available on the scholarship and then they are talking about other funding options so you guys definitely go ahead and check it out our scholarship for today june 23rd is the international scholarship program at geneva center of humanitarian studies this is a scholarship for international students who want to go study in switzerland the deadline is november 30th so if you are thinking about it you still have some time there is no rush go ahead get your documents ready and go apply for it Alrighty, so I right now, uh, Lear, I don't know if it's Leah or it's Lee, if you want to raise your hand, come up on stage, please feel free, you can come, let us chit chat, but for now, I'm going to share the link to the scholarship to Twitter, you guys, I'm going to tweet out 
the link to the scholarship. And for those on Instagram, if you have any question, this is the time for you to ask because I'm about to tweet out the link to the scholarship, you guys. I hope you all follow me on Twitter. I hope you all follow me on Twitter such that you can get the link to the scholarship. I'm also going to share the the official page of the scholarship in my Instagram stories. So do well to check uh my Instagram. One minute, Lee. All right, I sent you an invite. I'm also going to share the link, the, the official uh page of the scholarship in my Twitter, in my uh, Instagram stories. So definitely go ahead, check it out. Be sure that you are on the right page. Be sure that we all are on the right page. That is why... I always share the the um the of the 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 picture of the scholarship on my Instagram stories. Hello Leah, welcome. Is it Lee or is it Leah? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Welcome. Can you hear me? In case you're speaking, you're muted. Um I don't know, maybe it's my network. Oh, okay. Go ahead, I can hear you now. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you now. I'm doing well. How are um, you? I'm good, thanks. My name is Leah. Sometimes they say Leah or Leia. Oh, Leah. All right, I see. Okay, cool. Yes. Yeah, so um, I was just listening in also today in the afternoon because I'm in Namibia, Africa. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like 23 hours in the almost almost midnight. Oh, so I I'm see. just also listening in and um, just to, to get myself more knowledge of scholarship because i um, I did. I just have a bachelor's in um, office management, which is more on administrative and stuff. So, because of lack of funding, further I could not continue because um, of, of the funds. So I was just here listening. Maybe I'll get an opportunity or something. But also maybe to appreciate you because you are really doing a good job um, informing people, especially uh, us, like uh, from uh, underdeveloped countries that sometimes we don't know of the opportunities out there. Um, yeah, so I was just listening. In. <laughs> All righty. Thank you so much, Leia, for uh, coming in. I definitely take that, uh, the appreciation that you've given. And um, yeah, that is the the beauty of, of what Clubhouse can do. Clubhouse can put together people from different parts of the world. And I... As I said before, I am a product of fully funded scholarships. I do not come from a lot of money. If it wasn't for scholarships, I wouldn't have been able to do my master's and PhD for free. So for me, it is a form of giving back. For me, it is a form of making sure that I can spread the information as much as I can because I know that there are students that the only thing they need is the information. Alrighty, so with that said, um, you mentioned that you... You, you didn't, you, you started your studies and then you did not uh, uh, finish up. Did, was it like your bachelor's? You didn't finish your bachelor's? Oh, um, I, I completed my bachelor's because um, we have what we call um, NASFAP where they fund students, undergraduate students. And then now from there, um, I, I completed and now I'm working. Um, but I wanted to further my studies. So now when you wait, and it's not like you are, you, you have a, you know, first generation student, do you know about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I'm one of them. So um, where, in, um, amongst your siblings, maybe you are the only one that made it to university and graduated. So people don't really understand the importance of education. If you get a job and they tell you that, no, and you tell them, no, I want to further my studies or something, they'll feel like you need more to help your family. And so finance, financial wise, you will really not be able to, to manage. So I wanted to continue with my studies, uh, maybe masters, um, because now it's level eight, um, our, our bachelor's is level eight. Uh, but also we didn't do research. So in most cases, when I'm trying to apply, uh, for masters, for example, um, they will require us to maybe have done research or on us or something like that. So I just wanted to ha have more information on um, whether if you want to enroll for a master's program, whether they have like something like um, to to prepare you before you you maybe like for for the first year 
they they give you a course where you can that includes research or whatever i don't know uh, so you can be admitted in the um, uh, master's program Alrighty, uh, thank you so much for asking that question. I do not, uh, you, you've given a bit of, of background about how the education system in Namibia works. But the thing is that if you already have like a, a certificate to show that you have a bachelor's degree and you're applying for a master's scholarship, that is really all you need. As long as you can prove that I actually have gone through a bachelor's degree, this is my certificate, this, are my, this is my transcript, these are the courses I took, this is what my GPA looks like, you are already ready to apply directly to a master's degree program. I don't know if you know about the MEC scholarship, but one of the things that the MEC scholarship says is that you need to have done 12 years of education prior to you applying. So that is the main idea the main idea is like how many years of the study have you already gone through such that you start preparing to apply for that next level in your studies right and you say you've been working which means that you can actually i don't know what year you graduated that is why when students uh like choose to work with us like on a let's say um one-on-one -on -one classes or group classes what i do is i look through your transcripts and i look at when did you graduate when did you start uh did you start did you start uh working because if you've worked for like two or three years if you've worked for like four or five years you can be considered like an early career professional and with early career professionals there are there is another scholarship category where you can apply for those particular uh, scholarships for early career professionals right so i think you have both options either to apply for early career professional scholarships or to apply for scholarships that you where you um where you you just go through like your bachelor straight to, to master's so i think you have you definitely have different options that you can look at and even our scholarship for today um our scholarship for, for today is the uh, uh what is it called the international scholarship program at geneva center for humanitarian studies right they uh, they one of the details of the scholarship is that they are targeting professionals like those that have been working in the field of the humanities for a while that is the target focus for this particular scholarship so if you have been working you still have options to have scholarships as well as if you're going to apply with your bachelor's you still also have options to apply for scholarships so it really depends which way that you you choose to go with it but any of them i think that you definitely have options to apply for scholarships is that okay leah Yes, yes, it's very okay with me. And yeah, um, I, yeah, I have the bachelor's and I, I, from there I went to work now. I work in the government, so I've been working for five years now. You so definitely have I, options. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so now that part is very clear for me because here in our country, or maybe yeah, here in our country, you can't move to master's if you did not do your honors. That's what was holding me. And the other thing was also now the finance part. But now, um, if, if yeah, I, I will really look up to the link and then um, apply. Alrighty. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Alrighty. Thank you so much for being here, Liam. Oh, hello, Malik. Welcome. Hello, Marco. Welcome. So our scholarship for June 23rd, our scholarship for June 23rd is the International Scholarship Program at Geneva Center for Humanitarian Studies in Switzerland. That is the scholarship. Here on one scholarship a day, you do not need to take notes because I am going to share the link to the scholarship on Twitter. I've tweeted out the link to the scholarship, you guys. So I hope you all follow me on Twitter. Go ahead, check the link to the scholarship. This is a scholarship for professionals who have been working in the field of the humanities. And you can go to Switzerland in order to do your master's program. So if Switzerland is a study destination that you're interested in, definitely go to Twitter check out the link to the scholarship i'm going to share the official uh the first page i'll take a screenshot of the first page of the scholarship and i'll share it in my instagram stories so please do want to follow me on instagram because that is where you are going to compare and make sure that you are on the right spot like you are on the right page for the scholarship so i'm excited you guys because since i started doing this we haven't found a scholarship to switzerland but today we have come and found a scholarship to switzerland it has a full 
component to it so some people are actually going to be fully funded for the scholarship as well as it has partially funded scholarships so Go ahead and apply for it add it to your list of scholarships and you guys if the information is not for you because you do not need the scholarship please be a vessel spread it out to a friend a brother a sister an uncle someone in your local market in your local community be a vessel you guys sometimes the scholarship is not for you if the scholarship is not for you be a vessel to spread the information because you can really just change someone's life by being that vessel to spread information about the scholarship you. Hello, Nikos. I see all your hearts. Thank you so much for being here on Instagram. I appreciate you. I definitely, definitely appreciate you. Hope you're good. So thank you guys so much. Our scholarship for uh, June 23rd was the International Scholarship Program at Geneva Center for Humanitarian Studies. You all go ahead and apply for it. Add it to your list of scholarships. The link is on Twitter as well as the screenshot of the first page of the scholarship is going to be in my Instagram stories. Of course, I'm going to be because it's what this is 7.05 a.m. in Japan and I'm going to come back maybe a couple of hours from now in order to do the evening session. It's morning now to do the evening session of one scholarship a day. And we are still going to talk about the scholarships. So if you can join us again and we are going to do, continue talking about scholarships. Thank you guys so much. It's time for me to get out of here. You go apply for your scholarships. You go add that to your list of scholarships. I'm going to see you all some hours from now on one scholarship a day here on clubhouse i'm not going to do it on instagram but on clubhouse i'm going to see you guys again bye everybody bye